Now, just a quick video. I wanted to talk to you about this Sony Walkman. This is a cassette Walkman, and I think it is possibly one of the rarest Sony Walkmans ever made. The reason I say that is if you go searching for information about this particular model, you'll draw a blank, and that is unusual for Sony. If you go looking for any other Sony Walkman model online, you'll find pages of information about it, photos, reviews, goodness knows what else. With this, absolutely nothing whatsoever. Now, it's a bit of an unusual thing, this, and I'm hoping that by showing it in this video, I'm going to learn some more about it. It's been lent to me by a friend. He picked it up because he thought it was a bit odd, and he was right. Now, I'll show you what's odd about it, but I'm interested in hearing from anyone that has actually used one of these. I'm not interested in somebody doing a Google search and giving me the first result off the first page that they find out about something similar. No, I'm more interested in somebody who has actually touched one of these in the past and might even have handed them out to visitors. Now that gives away a little bit about what I think this was used for, but uh, let's just have a look at the front here, first of all. It says, Sound Alive, A Walk Into History. Now that isn't a sticker, that's been screen printed on there, along with the Sony and the Walkman. Now around the side here are controls. You can see, if it gets into focus, we've got Stop, Play and Restart. Notice, no rewind and no fast forward. And also on the back here, it says, this machine is not suitable for ordinary domestic use and is protected with a security alarm device. So they don't want you running off with it. Now, also on the back, you can see this thing here, a big neck lanyard. So here's what would happen, I think. You hang one of these things around your neck, you get given a certain cassette to put in it, you press play, you plug your headphones in the top, just your volume up here, and you end up listening to some music or talking, narration, whatever, about the event you're at. Like the kind of thing that you'd walk around a museum with, you know, when you put on headphones and it starts telling you about all the various exhibits, that kind of thing. But the question about this Sound Alive business is, is that an event? Somewhere you go to and it would say that above the door and you walk in and you get your cassette walkman on your way in and drop it back off on the way out? Or is that just a company that was asking Sony to make this particular model for them with the idea that they were going to then try and convince people with events to hand these out. I think it might be the latter. I'll explain why in a second, but I just want to show you on the side here. It has the model number. Now, all Walkmans have a model number, and this one says WM Tour. Now, the original Walkman WMD6C. So you always get the WM dash, but this time it's got the word Tour, which again kind of hints towards the whole walking tour type of thing. Now, it does say it doesn't work with normal cassettes. That's a lie. You can put a normal cassette in here. It'll work just fine. It'll play back in stereo. It's got a normal stereo head in here. In fact, one weird thing about it is that it has this button that's labelled restart. You'd imagine that would do something such as rewind to the back of the tape uh, to the start. It doesn't. It doesn't do anything. Now, that might be broken, but it just doesn't seem to engage with anything. So all we've got really is play and stop. Now, the only bit of information on here that led anywhere was this logo, this Sound Alive A Walk Into History. Did a bit of a search on that and found somebody selling a cassette. In fact, I found a couple of these online. I think there was an Elizabethan one and there was this Tudor one. Now, unfortunately, it's just music. There's no extra information on here at all. It's done by the Sound Alive Consort and it was recorded in 1987. And as far as the card goes, it just tells you what the music is. And it was recorded at Penhow Castle in Cardiff. So I kind of get the feeling this is a, a UK type thing. And of course, we'd be the people to walk around an old castle or an old stately home. We've got plenty of those. So maybe that was the idea of the market for this thing, that somebody would put this cassette in here, borrow this at the beginning, walk around a castle while listening to some Tudor music and then when they get back to the end they hand this thing back in and somebody takes all the cassettes out, rewinds them, gets them back to the beginning again ready for the next people. It does seem a bit of a weak idea just listening to some music. I mean it's not telling you anything about the location where you are. It's a sort of generic type thing so you could use this in a number of different locations. It doesn't tell you like on your left you'll see King Henry's table or anything but uh, if I just try and play a little bit of music yeah, I don't think I'm going to hit any content matches for that, but uh, it isn't a particularly attractive idea to me. 
listening to that while I'm walking around a castle. I'd probably rather just talk to the person that I'm with, uh, or maybe put on one of those headphones that tells you a bit more about the location. But just music, yeah. Anyway, um, I wanted to have a look inside the back of here because it mentions this security alarm device, which is no doubt one of those things like you get with a, a shop, you know, when you walk through the barrier and it sets an alarm off. We'll see if that's inside here. But I also want to see why this restart button just seems to do absolutely nothing and why they bothered leaving it on there if that's the case. I mean, th this thing has been custom designed on this edge for these people. So if you only needed a stop and play button, why bother with the restart? Right, so there's no sign of any kind of security tag in the back of it. Perhaps it's buried in here, or maybe it doesn't exist at all. Rather a basic cassette Walkman mechanism, this one. But it didn't have to do an awful lot. No rewinding, no fast forwarding, just play and stop. The restart button, it is actually touching a leaf switch together back there. It could do something. I've just had a thought, maybe when this thing went back to the station at the end, the place where they handed them out from. Perhaps they plugged that into DC and then maybe that only operates on DC. So let's have a let's have a try on that. Well so much for that theory. I've put my three volt power supply in. I've got a cassette in the other side. If I press play we can see that it's spinning around down here at the bottom, playing the cassette as normal. Press stop and then press restart and it does nothing. Now here's something very odd that just happened. I was setting this up ready to do a thumbnail for this short video and something took me by surprise and I've now learned what the restart button's for. Now let me show you. I'll just press play. So we've got a horrible music playing and now watch what happens when I move the cassette player to the back of the counter here. It stops playing. If you press restart, it starts up again. I'll do that again. Now I've figured out what that's probably about. Now imagine you went in a location, you were walking around a, an old house or a castle or whatever, and you had a tour guide and you all had one of these around your neck and it was playing this god awful music. But every now and then the tour guide wanted to say something to you. So they'd reach in their pocket, they'd press a thing which would send out a frequency, which would stop all these things playing music. They'd be able to talk to you. And then once you wanted to resume, you press restart. And the reason it's working like that in here is because I've got this Wi-Fi router under this counter, which sends out a load of radio interference, probably uh, things that are going to kill me as well. And that's what's stopping this if I move it around. Very interesting. Now, when I had the back off this case before, I noticed the presence of a copper plate. It sits behind here on this side. It's glued to the inside of the case behind this Dolby symbol. And I noticed it because it was preventing me from getting the whole mechanism out of the shell. But now I realize that that will have been the antenna that receives the signal, which puts these devices into pause. And quite likely would also be the thing that would set off any kind of security system if you tried to leave the location with one of these devices. But there's a lot of guesswork in this video. I've got very little to go on. I'm glad I found out about that restart thing, so we know it is working, but I haven't got much more information than that. So the fact is, this might not be a device that somebody would press a button to pause. Maybe the person with it hung around their neck would walk into a certain location and that would pause the device. I really don't know. So if you have used one of these yourself in the past, if you've handed them out to visitors at some location you were working at, or you know anything more about them, then please let us know in the comments because as it stands, this is a very rare, very unusual, and really quite undocumented Walkman. It'd be nice to try and put that right. But anyway, hope you've enjoyed this quick video. That's it for the moment. As always, thanks for watching.